My name is Alban Gaultier and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Neuroscience at the School of Medicine at the University of Virginia. I'm also part of the Center for Brain Immunology and Glia. All of us, even the cleanest person, carry about four to five pounds of passengers which are called the gut microbiome. So most of them are bacteria and those bacteria are very important to digest food, to assimilate vitamins and also to fight nasty bacteria. What we did is we used a mouse model of stress that is known to induce depression. And we found that the composition of the microbiome was changed when you stress mouse to make them depressed. And one of the major changes that we uh, discovered was that we were losing a class of bacteria called lactobacillus. And a very important and exciting fact is was, was that if we give back lactobacillus to the mice, we are able to fix depression. All of us eat yogurt and all of us, all of us eat sauerkraut, at least in Europe we do. And lactobacillus is a bacteria that's used, that has been used for centuries to make yogurt and to make sauerkraut. So it's a bacteria that has been with us for a long, long time. And what we have found is that lactobacteria, by producing a certain metabolite, impact the generation of molecules that are known to impact brain function. So when we lose those bacteria, the balance is broken, and then we get depressed. So in our study, uh, we were not limiting ourselves to depression, and we also uh, studied uh, anxiety. And we found that lactobacillus was also able to correct some anxiety behavior in mouse. So depression and anxiety, we are corrected by giving back lactobacillus. Indeed, we are very excited to take this study uh, to the next level, which to look at a human patient. So we wish to see if our finding can be extrapolated to depressed patients. And in particular, we are very excited about uh, multiple sclerosis patients because MS patients are also prone to depression and there is no really good uh, treatment to help those patients. For me, this project started by talking to MS patients or multiple sclerosis patients. And when you know a little bit of the, about the disease, at least uh, what you know in textbook, you are anticipating that they will tell you, I don't feel my harm, I have trouble walking, I have trouble thinking. But the most common symptom that they have is that they are actually depressed. So that was the, the, the motivation behind us starting this project. I really wanted to find a way to help MS patients get happier.